yo! What's good everybody? Hope y'all are having a super blessed day and welcome back to Sharp Sports. So every year at the NFL Combine, there is one event in particular that everybody pays attention to. And that of course is the 40 yard dash because we all wanna know who the fastest player is coming out of each draft class. And this year's fastest player is none other than Alabama receiver Henry Ruggs III. And that elite speed that Henry Ruggs possesses also helped make him one of the top receivers coming out of the class of 2017, where he was a four star receiver ranked as the second best player in Alabama and the 11th best receiver in the class of 2017. Now real quick before we jump into today's players hots, I wanna remind you guys that today is the highlight live stream every Tuesday and Saturday at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time to 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I do a highlight live stream where I watch your guys' highlights and help give you guys some pointers and just help get your guys' highlights onto a bigger platform. All right, but we all saw Henry Ruggs absolutely torch SEC secondaries this past year, so I can only imagine what he was doing in high school, but we don't have to imagine because we've got his highlight tapes right here. So with that being said, let's jump straight to Henry Ruggs' highlight tape. Three, two, one. Psh. All right, let's take a look and see what the fastest man at this year's combine was looking like. Thousand catch, not a thousand catches, a thousand yards of 44 catches, 10 touchdowns. Okay. And just bye bye. J just bye bye. <laughs> like you're just not catching them. Dude ran 4 3 8 in high school. He dropped the whole 10th in college, bruh. Like, this dude. He just had speed for, for just for days. He, like, you're just not catching them, bro. Like, see, it, it's, it's not so much him being able to miss guys. Look at how much separation he gets at the top end. Of, at, at the top end, like he goes from the guy being a yard away from him to by the time he's in the end zone, guys are 10 yards away from him. Thank you. Get off of me. And just <laughs> you just can't catch him. Ball in his hands. Ankle. Ooh, ooh. Okay, hit him with a little hit him with a little dead leg. Let's go. Wow, homie, you actually almost caught up to him. Number four. Okay, I see you out there. Yo, you were keeping up with him. I see it. Yo, you're gonna be able to tell your kids that story. Like, man, I almost tackled the fastest man at this year's combine. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of trust by that quarterback. Way to just go up and high point that though. Let's get it. That was not, that was just a horrible throw. That was literally throwing it into double coverage. But when you know you got a boy like Henry Ruggs on the outside, you, you don't have a problem doing that. Like on fade routes, like look, look at this. He doesn't even, like he doesn't even stem to the inside. He just runs to the outside and just outruns the corners of the spot. Yo, I want you guys to comment down below. Do you think that Henry Ruggs is gonna be the equivalent of Tyreek Hill? Because that's what basically everybody wants. That's why he's going to be going so high. However, Tyreek Hill is one of the first true just speed demons that has actually been able to make it work. Okay, wait a minute. You got, you got the crowd turning up too. But Tyreek Hill has been really one of the only speed demons to actually be successful in the NFL. Like when you really look back at it, most of these guys who have like, like when you look at the list of the, of the fastest players who ran like the fastest, the fastest 40s, you okay you recognize chris johnson you recognize john ross just because it's recent but i mean in a couple of years you're not gonna even know who he is like he, he actually he made up for it a little bit on the back end of this year but still if he doesn't if he doesn't get his get his uh career together he's gonna be out of the league here pretty soon like jacoby ford had a really fast uh 40 time uh cj spiller had a really fast like a lot of guys have run four two whatever but they haven't really been able to put it together. So do you think that a guy like Henry Ruggs is gonna be that X factor and be like a Tyree kill, or is he just gonna be another fast guy in the league? Oh, I thought, I thought he was about to keep up on that. Oh, that's easy money. Also, whatever team ends up picking up Henry Ruggs, their quarterback better have a strong arm. <laughs> he better have a real strong arm. <laughs> Just get off. Oh, pff, sit down, little boy. Come on, cameraman, keep up with him.
and bop, get him out of the, get him out of the play. There you go. Setting up your boy for a nice kick return. So far, the biggest thing that I'm seeing that he improved on from high school to and then his, his time at Alabama is his route running. Like, like at least in high school, he was just faster than everybody, so he didn't really have to really focus on like true route running. All he had to do was just outrun whoever he was, whoever was in front of him. But from the looks of it, it looks like he he he. Well, honestly, what Alabama was able to put together these past two years, but mainly this year, because all the, like, mainly all of the guys are starting to leave now, to have three receivers who are probably going to go in the first round, definitely the first two rounds, to have a quarterback who's a top 10 pick, if he was healthy, top five. Well, he's probably still going to go top five, but if Tua was healthy, he'd probably be, there'd be a lot of talks about him being the number one overall pick. Like, it, obviously they always send a bunch of guys on the defense side of the ball, but Man, Alabama this year and last year was wide receiver U. Like, <laughs> they, they, yeah, no. Anytime that you're able to put three guys in the first two rounds in, in the NFL draft, like, you, you were doing something right over there. Also, another thing, if you notice, look at, I mean, obviously he's fast, but look how slow this get off is. Like it, it takes him a second. He also really worked on his getting out of getting out of his getting out of his stance as well as just his his acceleration. Like he's able to get to his top end speed way faster now. But he's also running a whole tenth faster too. The difference between four three nine and four two seven. He also put on a little bit of weight too. Coming out of high school, he was one seventy five, and now he's one eighty eight. So, at thirteen pounds. <laughs> Drop a tenth in your forty, hey, homies, homies looking good out there. Man, in high school as a quarterback, you can get away with anything as long as you have a star receiver on the outside. These dudes are throwing it into horrible coverages, and they're just like, oh yeah, he's, he's, he'll he'll make a play. He always does. Sit him. Yo, I see you out here, Henry Ruggs, laying out these laying out these blocks. Let's go. Hit him on the end around. Hit the burst. Hit the burst. Split that. Split. Oh, let's go. I also like the fact that he trusts in his speed. A lot of guys would have tried to make a cut. They would just try to make a cut at some point. But he's just like, no, I'm just going to run straight forward, get as many yards as I can. And then whenever they end up tackling me, that's when I'm going to go down. And he gains like 30, 35 yards on that play. Something that Nick Saban probably is the reason why he got recruited to Alabama. Like, He's like, yeah, I know you're fast, but can you block on the outside? Especially because Alabama has been such a heavy run team for so long. Dip, 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 dip. Oh, I thought he was about to be able to creep down the sideline. Let's go. But, all right, that is what this year's fastest man at the NFL Combine, Henry Ruggs, was looking like in high school. Henry Ruggs worked so much on his route running at Alabama. It's actually crazy. Like, but I mean, they didn't really ask him to do a whole lot in high school either. It's like, okay, either just run a stop because they're giving you 10 yards of cushion because they're afraid of your speed or just run a, just run a streak because you're just going to outrun them. Like there's not a whole lot of diversity when you're that fast, but at Alabama, they really made him develop as a receiver, really taught him all of the fundamentals. Like he can get in and out, in and out of his breaks. Now he accelerates way faster coming out of his, out, out of his uh, receiver stance. Like, Obviously, he already knew how to high point the ball in high school. Obviously, he knows how to make people miss. But like just those those things alone, being able to work on your route running and getting out of your stance, like those two things alone made him just another receiver going to a top program to a solidified first round pick. But what you guys think of Henry Ruggs high school highlights? Be sure to comment it down below. All right, you guys, with that being said, hope that y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave this video a like. Let's get this video to 500 likes because that lets me know that you guys enjoyed this video. Also, don't forget to comment down below any other players that you guys want me to see because that's all I know who you guys want me to watch so we can 
help grow this channel. And also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications so you guys can stay on top of all the videos that I am a coming out with Asia. All right, you guys, with all that being said, hope that y'all have a super, super blessed rest of your day. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.